What is up goons, Jordaner JKR here, and today I'm going to talk about the Xbox One and if it can be saved by Halo 5 and the Master Chief Collection, which come together quite nicely if you think about it, but I'll talk about that later on in the video. So when the Xbox One first came out, I noticed a lot of hate towards it, mainly because it costed $500, and the reason that is is because you're paying $400 for the console itself and then you're paying a hundred extra dollars for the connect and is the connect truly worth a hundred dollars well that's debatable you guys can be the one ones to decide me personally I just use it to say like Xbox play Xbox pause uh, while I'm watching Netflix but other than that I don't know if it's truly worth that hundred dollar price uh, so yeah it shows in the sales because I guess a lot of people they just said hey well the undecided people that really didn't care whether they were going to Xbox or PlayStation they probably just saw the PlayStation another next-gen console being cheaper and uh, being very competitive with the Xbox and saying I guess that's where I'm going so yeah here's the sales I'm looking at this article I'll make sure to show it on screen and link it into the description that way you guys can check it out for yourselves but it says Sony has sold 9 million PlayStation 4s, which is truly crazy. That's a lot of that's a lot of consoles around the world. And it says Microsoft has sold 5 million Xbox Ones. Now you don't have to be a mathematician to know those are pretty big like differences. And that's PlayStation has almost sold twice as many Xbox Ones, and that's just a very big margin and uh, I'm sure Microsoft is working on things to close that gap like they're working on stuff right now like they're not selling the Xbox One Connect bundle you can now buy Xbox One by itself for just well, what is it $400 just like the PlayStation 4 uh, they did that they're also working on like all the like uh, random bugs that are on the Xbox One if you got the Xbox One day one you know the true struggle and yeah, they're, they're working out that, and what else are they working out? Uh, tr tr yeah, they're also, I forgot to mention, uh, they showed a lot of new games at E3, and that's getting a lot of people excited, especially like this Master Chief bundle, which I'll talk about later. So yeah, they're working hard to, uh, I think, gain a lot of new people back. So you might be asking yourself, how is Halo going to possibly... Uh, help with getting more people on the Xbox one and helping the sales and everything and to tell you the truth There's more people than you know that just have not bought a next-gen console on both sides like a lot of people are just playing their Xbox 360 or their PlayStation 3 and they have really good reasons I mean the reason is they have a lot of games on the uh, is it safe to call them last-gen consoles? But yeah that the last-gen consoles uh, there's a lot of games that they like and me myself I have an Xbox one and a 360 and I find myself playing the 360 way more I mean right now you're watching some Halo 4 um, gameplay and that's on my 360 and yeah Halo 4 is on the 360 so yeah that's what I was playing recently and yeah they don't have that on the Xbox one so I spend a lot more time on my 360 and I'm sure that's the case for a lot of games I mean I can't play Call of Duty, um, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Halo 4, Civilization Revolution, that's a really good game, but not that many people play it. If you do play that game, you're really cool. Any form of civilization is fun. But yeah, getting back on topic, yeah, there's just not that many uh, games that, that are on the 360, really good ones, that are also on the next-gen consoles. So now we have the Master Chief Collection just conveniently bringing a lot of the greatest Halo games from the Xbox and the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. Is that not convenient or what? Because a lot of people on the Xbox are die-hard Halo fans. And the fact that there's going to be Halo 1 remastered, Halo 2 remastered, Halo 3 and 4, I don't know if those are, I think those just are going to look really nice on the next gen console. I don't think they're remastering those, so uh, yeah, I guess they'll just look really nice on the next gen console, but yeah, th those are all coming to the Xbox One. So a lot of people on the Xbox, Xbox 360 rather, that haven't bought an Xbox One, they are going to be like, hey, I better buy one uh, Xbox One because I want to get on the Xbox the 
my bad. I want to get in on the Halo 5 beta, which you get that if you buy the Master Chief Collection. So, yeah, a lot of diehard fans are going to say, hey, I want to get in on that beta, so I might as well buy an Xbox One. And, yeah, hopefully that works out, because I want a lot of people to be on the Xbox One when the new Halo comes out, when the Master Chief Collection comes out. Because I know there's a lot of diehard Halo fans, and I'm sure they'll be happy to play on the Xbox One when there's a lot more games that they like on the Xbox One. So, yeah, hopefully bringing those four, like, beautiful Halo games to the Xbox One is going to, like, boost the sales and the amount of people that play on it. Because I want a lot of people on it when I start playing. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I got sort of inspired to make this because I was playing Halo 4 recently and had a lot of fun, so yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed, make sure to leave your thoughts below on what you think about this topic, and I'm out. Peace.